Do you really want to unlock your Realme X2 bootloader? Move your bootloader status from locked and then to unlocked? Okay, uh, it could involve some things like using some command in the system and then after that you want to even flash custom ROM to move from this and to experience something completely different. Okay, if you want to do that, let's go there. <laughs> Welcome back to Smart Depot. If you are new here or you like our video, just click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to be notified when we bring up a new video. Okay, so we're going to start from the tools you will need, starting from the PC tools, and there is also an unlock app. The links will be in the description. So we start from there are two options here, or a few options you can use. You can use the platform tools from Google. This is a product from Google where they put on all the tools for development in Android. Okay, so you can actually go into you see fastboot adb, then you now open command prompt from this folder. In Windows 10, you can easily do that from clicking on the navigation bar, clicking on it and type cmd and you hit enter, it will open cmd in that folder. Now, if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, I'm using Windows here, you can just right click on any space in the folder and tell it to open command prompt here. Uh, for some Windows 10, if you right click, it will give you PowerShell option. So you can still click it. They are like similar thing. They can do, still do the same thing. So, but to use platform 2, you have to install USB drivers, ADB USB drivers. So, I really don't like that. So I use ADB and Fastboot in 15 seconds. I mean, you can install this thing in literally 15 seconds. So I install it. You can install it over and over. It doesn't mean anything. So if you see, yes, I like system wide. System wide is that anyway, I open my command prompt. I'll start doing my ADB or Fastboot command. It's very important. And this application also installs those Google ADB U, uh, USB drivers. So it's very, very important. So I just open command prompt. This tutorial will be in two parts. The first part is unlocking bootloader. And then the second part is, you know, flashing a custom recovery routine and then custom ROM. So I'll put the timestamps in, in the dis description below. So just, just check it and then move to any one. But I will recommend you watch all of them. So I'll put the phone screen on the screen. You just, you know, put on your phone, you know, select files. It will pop out on the screen like this. And then two things you're going to do. You're going to go to your system information and type on build seven times then go back to additional setting and then open developer option two things turn on your oem and lock and then turn on usb debugging as i already have adb running it will pop up here and then select that always allow from this computer which if it's your own personal computer so with this two out of the way you are now ready for the computer aspect of unlocking your bootloader. This thing has to be done, both in your computer and the one I show you in the phone. So when you've done this now, I'll show you the unlock app. Now we'll come to the app. The unlock app is a special app released by Realme. This is for Realme. And then when you open it, it will show you a screen like this, and then you start applying for in-depth testing. Come back after five minutes, go in again, and then it will show you this, and then you check the query, and now it's successful so once you click on start in-depth test it will reboot you to the bootloader you cannot have access to that bootloader interface without this app so that's just the way it is so that's the app that helps you to unlock so as you can see now it's locked so we're going to type our adb command adb fastboot command right now is seeing the same fastboot devices that we saw and then we're going to click our first command all the command will be in the description our first command here will be fast boot um, flashing unlock. So that will be our first command. So look at what will happen in the phone. As you put it now, it will prompt you, do you want to unlock bootloader and all those warning, blah, 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 blah. If you unlock your bootloader, this will happen, that will happen. It will just, you know, prompt you all that. Just use the volume button to step down, use the power button to select. Mind you, if you do that, it will wipe everything in your phone it will wipe everything so before you actually do the unlocking make sure you copy everything from your internal storage so once you've done that and then you can unlock so right now this is the first part we've unlocked our bootloader and we've come back here so the second part is we're going to go back and then we're going to go back and flash custom recovery 
custom ROMs. So if you want to know that, so you we're going to use ADB to reboot the bootloader. So we're going to type ADB reboot bootloader and it will take us to fast boot mode. So right now, as you hit enter right now, I'll show you the screen on the phone. What will happen as you hit enter, it will reboot. And then it takes you back. Now you can see that we are unlocked before it was locked. So you can now type fast boot um, devices to verify that you have a communication with this. As you can see, now we've called up fast boot. So it's unlocked. Now we flash VB meta and custom recovery. So now I'll put the code in the description with the file. So the way I do it is that I just drag the file after putting a space after the command. So this is the command part. And then you put the file. If the file is in the same folder, you put it. But for me, I'm using system wide ADB. I just drag it there, hit enter, it will flash. Then the next one, you also flash a fast boot uh, flash recovery and then you put the 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 recovery um, file image that you want to flash so normally I just drag it windows will just automatically put the address there so that's the way it is so once you flash it there are basic thing you have to understand immediately you finish flashing the recovery and the VB meta you are not supposed to turn on and restart the phone you are going to boot back into recovery and anytime you flash always check to see whether it finished and whether there is any error you know in the flashing so once you're through with that and you flash your vb meta and you flash your tv recovery which is very very critical then you're going to go back to the phone and then use the volume buttons and then to select recovery and then use the power button to go into recovery do not just restart the phone or so let's start from your fast boot mode it will wipe out the recovery and you start again to flash these two things so now you can see the recovery we've booted into the recovery is working and we are just about to now start doing a whole lot of stuff with our phone so we start with wiping go to wipe and then select advanced wipe and then you're also going to pick out the davi catch the cache the system and the data do not touch the vendor all the custom run for Remi x2 right now does not have custom vendor so they are depending on the system on so after wiping you go back and then you go back to install and select the folder or the storage that have the thing you want to install hit on the file the zip file you want to install this custom run we are installing is boot it's called os sorry then install it and normally you also have to install gaps if some of the rom you're installing does not have google apps in them you can also flash the zip so um that's just about it and then once you do that let's reboot and see what happens so yes you can see the custom uh, boot animation for cold os which is very very sweet if you ask me so this is it we've booted up into a custom recovery so if you have any question if you have anything that is not clear just just drop it in the comment section we will do our best to answer you immediately uh, as much as much as we can you know so this is it this is the custom rom um you can just see it's working and it's practical it's so easy and then after some little tweak your custom rom will move from this and then appear like this and it's a thing of beauty so it's always wonderful to customize that's the beauty of android that you can always customize a lot of stuff so that will be it for today hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll see you in the next one subscribe i'll see you